warming up the car right now before I start this oil change. I'm just sitting in my car because it's a lot warmer in here. It's getting cold up. Welcome back to another KP video. Um, today, I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm just doing an oil change because tomorrow is Friendsgiving's at Garlito's house. Let me see if I can set this down here. Um, tomorrow is Friendsgiving's at Garlito's house and uh, he lives about an hour and a half away up in Temecula. So it's gonna be the furthest I've driven this car. Um, pretty stoked and I'm nervous at the same time because I have never ever driven the Starlet that far before. Um, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be good. It's just really it's gonna be like hella bouncy. And uh, I'm just gonna make sure everything is, is good before I head out. So before I head out, uh, I'm gonna do this oil change, clean up the car a little bit, um, load up some stuff that I need to take up there, uh, give Jacob all his steering wheel hubs back so I can clear up some space here. Um, I'm pretty stoked. A lot of cool people are going to be there. Uh, a lot of people are going to come into town. Uh, we got new people that moved down to SoCal from the Bay that are going to be there. So it should be a great time. Should be a great time. Pretty excited. And the car just got registered yesterday, so I'm good to go. So let's start this oil change. So jack it up from the side. Put my two ramps on. These ramps are cool. I found out my old job. So. These ramps are made for for the snow. Um, you drive your car up on it first. You you lay your tire chains here. Drive up on it, then you can put your chains on. I'm like, well, you know what? I don't even go to the snow. I'm just gonna use this for ramps. Look at look how cool it is. Pretty nice. If you guys want to know where to buy them, I don't know, but uh, you can see here. The focus says quick chain what quick chain jer has a frog on it so check it out really worth it all right so while i do this i'm gonna update you guys on something um i haven't been working on this car that much well for you guys have, so for all you followers you know you guys probably already know that um but it's November right now, um, and I got a lot of plans for this car for the new year, but it might be on hold for a little bit. This car, the Starlet, it might be on hold for a little bit because I am in the process of purchasing a, a new project. Um, which means this is not gonna be neglected or anything but since this car my main focus was to get it running and getting it running properly I know it's not running like exactly that properly but it's running and it's registered so it's good right but there's a car that I always wanted um, I can't tell you guys now until I really do get it. it's like I said earlier it's in the process and uh, thanks to you guys for the for the help um, for for purchasing some of my my clothing, my gear. Because that has helped me out a lot. You know, I, I put it towards towards my cars and towards my content and stuff. You know, it's what I like to do, cars, and I just do anything that's to support what I what I like. You know, so I can share with everyone. But from that. I'm, I'm almost there, I almost have enough um, for the car, but the thing is, I need to get the car down here, it's up in the bay right now. Um, so what I did is, 
I don't I don't do the GoFundMe stuff and all that. I I have pre-orders for some windbreakers that I made and um, some baseball baseball tees. And it's on my big cartel, and I'll link it right down below, right here. Um, you guys can just you know pick some up, place a pre-order. It'll, it'll help me out a lot um, so I can get this project uh, that's going to be coming up. So. It's gonna be cool. It's, it's it's a car that I've always wanted and I always liked, and I it's it's an opportunity for me to get it right now. It's a good deal to pass up, and uh, I really want to share that with you guys. Um, a hint is it's an '80s car and it's a Toyota. That's all I'm gonna say. And it's rear-wheel drive. That's all. Done. Done deal and done set. It's gonna be a sick build, but um. But like I said, um, I just got to try to get the car down here because it's up in the bay in San Francisco. And that's like, what was it, five, six hundred miles away from here. So, and the car doesn't currently, it doesn't run. But yeah, I really want to get it down here. So yeah, just hope you guys can uh, help me out with that and uh, just pick up some gear and then um, can bring the car back down here. Other than that... I have some stuff I'm going to be coming up soon and planning for this build, which is going to be awesome. This oil is black, man. Holy shit, this oil is dirty. This random cat just came into the garage, decided to clean itself here. Name is Ziggy. Come here, Ziggy. Come here. You want to come here? No? Come here. Staring at me like that. What up? Do you? Oh yeah, all the fucking angles. Holy oh, yeah. Then with that cat, killed some time. I think all the oil is drained out, so let's uh, put that bolt back in. You guys can see that, but damn, this oil pan is banged up, man. Look at that. Holy shit, did I do that? I don't think so. Kind of messed up a little bit. Um, Took the old oil filter off and I still had oil in there, it leaked all over the floor, but I put some of this absorbent that I bought from Home Depot. Uh, right now I'm just gonna lube up this, um, I'm gonna lube up this new filter and uh, pop this boy in. All right, new filter's in. Now I have to put in some oil. That's pretty much that. Yeah, good job. Now I gotta fix this license plate frame mount. And just a small other few things before I head out to work. Oh, the cat went. I just went home. My lip got caught in the in the, um, the ramps, but everything's good. Fire this bad boy up. I don't know if it's too dark, but yeah. Um, I just got off of work right now. Got off a little early tonight. Um, now I'm going to head to Walmart, which is down the street. Pick up some Velcro so I can Velcro my dash mat. I thought I was going to end the vlog earlier, um, early in the day before I had to head to work, but I guess I have some time and I'll go down to the garage and do a few more things before I head out on that drive tomorrow. So uh, let's go to Walmart. All right, so I picked up the Velcro at uh, Walmart and uh, what I'm going to do is Velcro the top right here to put on my dash mat because it's always sliding off. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna goo on and clean this all up. I don't have rubbing alcohol to clean up the surface. I think this will work and just let it dry up. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I just finished. What I did was I threw Velcro in the back right here. Right in the back right there. So if I do get pulled over and they wanna check my VIN or something, I can just lift it up. So that's why I did not Velcro that top part. Have some right there, right there, right there. But you can still lift it up. 
So now I'm tugging it, not it. And I only used, I only used one of the sides of the Velcro. It's the one with all the bristles and stuff, not the fuzzy one. Um, the reason why I didn't use the fuzzy, which is this one right here, is because um, this is already fuzzy, so it grips on pretty good. But I can just pull it off whenever and just you know just lay it on. But I might. There's some in existence. I mean, there's a little bit of residue, I guess, from the previous owner that did Velcro it as well. Um, I think I'll find out tomorrow to see how it holds up. And from there, I will probably add more if it is not held up that well. So that's for that. That's one thing. Now to uh, clean up the car, uh, load up some stuff, and then just get ready for tomorrow.